With one blade drawn and created as a pad, we can now use the pattern tool to create multiples of the same blade. So what I need to do first is choose the pad which represents the blade, and then I go up to here with the pattern tool and choose the circular pattern. Now, <clears throat> what we can do here is uh, we can choose how many blades we want. So at the moment, I've got five blades chosen, but what we need to do is really two more things. First of all, we need to we need to tell the software that we want to evenly spread all five of them around the circumference of the of the uh, fan. So we go up to here and we choose complete crown. So we choose complete crown, which is going to make a total angle of 360 degrees. And finally, uh, in order to so that the software knows in which direction the pattern is rotating we need to choose a reference element. So I click on this box here and I choose a, a, a plane, some plane on the object which is, in, uh, which is in the same direction that we want the pattern to rotate. So by choosing that, it replicates the fan blade around like there. And there we have the basic fan. Of course, we could go back and change that to three blades if we wanted to and preview that and it's going to look like that. 